just that idea of techno music with Derek and Kevin. It was like making, the, you know, the first car, like four. You know what I'm saying? Like that was a new breed of, of, of music, you know. And they didn't know how to classify it. It was, it, it, it was inspired by house. Uh, most house people didn't see it as house, though. They did. Didn't know what to do with it, and you know, it made it techno. The, the sound that came out of Detroit kind of showed me a direction, you know what I mean? It was like, this is where this music should be going. It's a combination of like art. And electronics and like everything was like all mi mixed into one, you know what I mean? And it was, and it was also something that was it had a, a soul to it that that had never been I don't know it had not been done for a while. Everyone before that was kind of for me it was copying like disco and which is like it was not bad, but it, it just basically took it to another level, you know. And look where it is now. That was the beginning of a, of a, of a completely different era uh, and influenced people from many different countries to try to you know, capture it. About the beginning of the of the beginning of the beginning. I mean, uh, and it's about long overdue. Everybody here involved in this festival today uh, are people that have dedicated their lives to to changing the world, man. To changing uh, the way the air tastes, the way the water feels, you know, the way you sleep, the way you breathe, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you think, the way you thought, you know. about some of the DJs back then that I grew up listening to was they took chances, you know, and they introduced new things and, and new approaches to music. And that's, again, that's part of what techno is. These kids uh, who are like 17, 15, they have no idea that Black Hands created Detroit style techno. And that's why this festival is so important. Because history needs to be told like it should.